Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have another foundation review for you guys. As you guys know, recently I've been doing nothing but drugstore foundation reviews, but I have literally gotten so many requests to do a foundation review on the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. So this is what it looks like right here, and this is what the box looks like. It's very chic and cute. Now, if you guys watch my channel, I'm sure you guys are probably like, bitch, why are you reviewing that? I thought you said you're not support, gonna support her stuff. And you know what, you guys? I had a conversation with somebody, and they were like, you know what? You need to put your opinions and beliefs aside, and if people want to see a review of something, that means they trust you on it, and that means they want to get your reaction and your review and your opinion on it, so just go ahead and do them that favor and do that. And I was like, you know what, you guys? I'm still going to be opinionated. You guys know me in every damn video. I am very opinionated. I always speak my mind. So I will continue to say my opinions and say my beliefs and say what I think is wrong or right in my personal opinion, but I'm going to set that stuff kind of aside and still purchase the product, even though I'm like, I'm not going to be giving these people any of my money because why support them if they're not supporting me for those of you that don't know my big problem with Huda Beauty and her uh, Instagram uh, account or whoever manages it I don't even know if it's her I didn't like for a while there she wasn't posting a lot of black women of color and she's honestly never really posted any men and I just really don't like that I feel like she should be helping us out and I feel like she's in the perfect position considering homegirl has like 22 million followers to be helping us out in the beauty community and help break down these beauty molds but you guys already know that I said that in like so many videos before but I'm putting my opinions and my beliefs aside and I'm still going to review the products that you guys want me to review. I also did pick up the Desert Dust Palette by Huda as well, so I will be doing a review on that pretty soon, hopefully within the next couple days. But today's review is on the Faux Filter Foundation. Now this foundation retails for $40 and you do get 1.18 fluid ounces. I go in all the details, of course, in the video, but I just want to let you guys know that. Also, you guys, this is a full coverage foundation, so if you guys don't like full coverage foundations, you may not like this, but you guys will see the full application and all that stuff in this video. So if you guys are interested in my opinion and my view. Also, I did the wear test and I did the flashback test. So if you guys are interested in seeing all that good stuff, of course, go ahead and keep on watching. But make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up because it will really help me out. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and press that little bell. Just ring that bell so that way you guys get notified when I upload a new video. And if you guys are interested in seeing how this faux filter foundation wears on me, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, guys, so getting this started, this is what the Huda Beauty box looks like. So it's really pretty and chic, and then it does have the shade name right on top of it there. Now, this foundation does retail for $40, and I did see some complaints online that this is plastic. The actual bottle's plastic, but I personally don't mind that. I feel like with plastic, when you drop it, it will withstand better than glass because I do drop my shit a lot. As you guys know, I'm a clumsy bitch, and it does have a pump on there, and the top right here, it clips on really nice. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, it clips on really, really good. So you do get 1.18 fluid ounces for $40. I do think that is a you know a little bit more of a high-end price But it's cool that you get a little bit more than one ounce also another thing that I wanted to mention I thought that it's really cool that she puts a sample of the Huda Beauty primer in there I will not be using this today. This is a hydrating primer, so I just know it's not gonna work good for me I don't like too much of a hydrating primer now let's go ahead and jump into some of the claims on the website so the coverage it says full and then it says medium so i'm assuming it's a full coverage but you could share it down to a medium coverage and it says for skin types normal dry combination and oily so it's good for all skin types and the finish you guys i'm really confused about the finish maybe you guys can help me out with this because i don't understand it me being in the makeup industry for 11 years i don't see how this foundation can have that many different types of finishes but it says the finish is satin matte radiant and natural so how do you have radiant satin and matte in one so radiant basically means glowy slash dewy and satin and matte like I, I don't know I personally just don't get it but that's what this says that it has on it so it says what it is a full coverage cream foundation that visibly conceals blemishes and imperfections for a filter like finish what it does packed with a high percentage of ultra refined pigments the faux filter foundation visibly smooths and evens texture diminishing the appearance of blemishes scars hyperpigmentation and redness which you guys know I got uh, enriched with argon oil and Centelia Acetica, I don't know how to say that, both known for their hydrating properties. This fade-proof formula blends seamlessly with the skin, leaving it matte with a hint of sheen for a luminous appearance. What, wear it alone or full coverage, I mean wear it alone for full coverage, or blend it together with the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Prime Makeup Base, that's a long ass fucking name, for a more natural finish. Okay, cool. So. I don't know, this kind of like, it has full coverage, but it's radiant, so I'm really intrigued to see. As you guys know, I did mention before, I'm not going to be buying Huda Beauty products anymore because I just didn't like the fact that she didn't support men on her page. But now she's kind of showing a little bit more men on there, so we're getting somewhere. Um, and then also, you guys, I got 
so many requests to do a review on this and I really really appreciate when I get um, requests to do reviews because that means that you guys trust me and trust my opinion so I really love that so I got this and I also did get the desert dusk palette what I will which I will be doing a um, review on pretty soon so when I tested this out in the store and I put a little bit on my hand you guys the coverage seems full ass coverage and I like that when it dried down I tried wiping it away and it was hard to take off some people don't like that but I personally do like that because I mean it's gonna hold on good like if you guys have the Tarte Shape Tape and you guys put it on your hand and let it dry see how hard it is to rub off like literally it's really hard but to me that's a good thing because then I know it's gonna stay on good and that's how this was as well so I was really excited to try it and I was like damn the coverage is bomb so so far so good I think and I'm going to like it but obviously we'll get into the wear test and see about that now also you guys um, like I did mention I'm not gonna be using the primer I'm gonna be taking my primer the primed and peachy one um, you guys know this is my current favorite one and I absolutely love this one it helps diminish my appearance of pores keeps my makeup on longer and it keeps me matte longer so I really really like that now um, let's go ahead and jump into putting this on all right guys so it doesn't say to shake well but I'm gonna shake it anyways now I do like the packaging of this I feel like it's very sleek and cute and I know there was complaints online that it's not glass and it looks like it's glass but I personally don't mind that now I will say you guys right off the bat when I tested this inside Sephora to put a little swatch on my hand which by the way I forgot to mention the Sephora girls did recommend that I go a shade lighter because it does oxidize so I went a shade lighter but I did also get a shade darker so I got a sample of the shade butter pecan but I'm in the shade uh, latte 300 and so I'm hoping that that one will work for me, but I'm just going to go ahead and take a little pump on here on my Rihanna Beauty Sponge, which, hello, do you want to come out today? See, I'm like, when you first use it, it's hard. You got to go, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, it's like a thick consistency. It's not really liquidy. Like, you know, the Rihanna one was like really, really liquidy. So, this one's kind of thick. See how much I have on there, and I swear this is probably going to be enough to cover the whole left side of my face because the coverage is so damn thick. Oh, yeah. You see how much that is? This, you guys, is like really full coverage, like really, really full coverage, which you guys know I like. Okay, this is definitely fragranted, like really, really strong. It smells like, I'm not trying to be rude, you guys, but it smells like, like an old lady perfume, you know what I mean? Not like old lady, but like a lady perfume. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be offensive, but you guys know what the fuck I'm trying to say. It's like an older lady perfume. Oh yeah, if you guys are sensitive to fragrance, this shit is strong. I don't know if you guys can tell from there, but this is like really full coverage, like really, really full. So if you guys don't like a full coverage, you may not like it, but if you like a full coverage like me, then the coverage is good. All right, guys, so far the finish I feel like is pretty much matte. I don't personally see a radiant finish to it, so I don't know why it says radiant finish on there. Um, I guess it could be maybe like a satin matte finish, but definitely not radiant. But so far, the finish though is beautiful. I feel like the coverage looks really good. I do feel like it may be a smidge too light for me, but hopefully the girls are right and it will oxidize. Um, but it's not like too light, you know? It's like, I would say maybe a half a shade too light for me. Alright guys, so my face is all done right there. I haven't done my forehead yet, but I just want to stop and tell you guys that the finish on this is beautiful i love how full coverage it is but it doesn't look cakey at all like literally it looks like real skin so i'm loving it so far let's just hope that it stays this way obviously i'm gonna do the eight hour test i'm gonna do the flashback test and all that good stuff but i'm gonna go ahead and like do it on my forehead now as you guys know if you guys watch my foundation reviews my forehead is my trouble area that's where i get a lot of creasing i get really oily there so this will be the uh you know make or break right up here um but so far the foundation is bomb all right guys, so I got the foundation all on and honestly you guys looking at it up close, I feel like it's beautiful. I feel like it's a great amount of coverage and it doesn't look cakey. It looks like my natural skin, but just like super flawless. You know what I mean? Um, and look, I'm just want, I'm gonna sound so fucked up right now, but I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I want to not like the product only because I don't like whoever's managing the Instagram account or if her, if she's managing it, I don't fucking know. But I just feel like it's taken her so long to get some diversity on her page. As you guys know, maybe about six months ago or so, maybe not even that long ago, maybe like four months ago, I had made a video too talking about it saying that I feel like she needs to post more black women of color and men and I feel like she's posting a lot more black women of color I think that's great but I still don't see that many men on there um, recently she's probably posted about three or four and that's the most that I've seen within the past year so I do think that maybe she's starting to branch out there a little bit more and show some diversity and um, like I know I sound shady as fuck but by me saying I want to not like the product but honestly you guys so far I feel like the product is fucking beautiful and I feel like the finish is 
bomb and I feel like the coverage is bomb but obviously time will tell how it's gonna hold up so what I'm gonna do right now is just take a little tiny dab of my light medium sharp sharp I always fucking do that shape tape by Tarte I'm just gonna take a little dot of it because I did take some of the foundation underneath my eyes and I do feel like that's enough coverage for me personally so I'm just gonna take a little bit and then a little bit in my forehead and then also you guys as far as the girls as far as saying that it oxidizes maybe it takes a while to oxidize but so far I don't really see anything oxidizing personally, but I would like it to oxidize because I do feel like I'm just a little, little bit too light. Like, honestly, not even that big of a deal light because you guys know uh, my last foundation review, what was that? The, um, the Total Coverage or Total Cover by uh, L'Oreal? Fuck. That shit was like ghostly on me. So this one's not bad at all, but I would like it to get a little bit darker. You guys are basically gonna get like a uh, two in one on the review today because I am trying out the Laura Mercier setting powder. You guys, I have heard nothing but great things about this and I'm out of my cameo powder. So I went to Namie's and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try this uh, Laura Mercier powder there cause I get a discount. So I was like, uh, let me try it out for once. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that and set my eyes and then I'll do the flashback test. Okay. so. I'm just gonna take some of that setting powder right there on the end of my Rihanna sponge. You know what's so funny is look how white it comes out right there, but then it looks very vanilla-y in there. I don't know if you guys can tell. But, damn, this shit looks like really matte. Ooh, okay, let's see. I heard this is really good for creases and fine lines, so I'm like, maybe it'll help me out with my damn forehead because my damn Botox wore off already. And I feel like I barely got it like four months ago, but I heard it goes off pretty fast. So I'm just waiting to get some more money, you know, gotta save up so I can get some filler because I wanna get some Restylane or Juvederm on my forehead so these fucking wrinkles can go. All right guys, so I got my forehead all set and my under eyes all set because that's where I get really creasy. So I wanted to make sure I set that before I take my flashback picture, but I haven't set the rest of my face. So this is all just still a foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a flashback picture and let you know my thoughts right now. There is definitely some flashback, um, but you know what? I've learned some things over doing my foundation reviews is that when you're doing a extreme full coverage foundation, I don't know if this is extreme full coverage, but it's pretty damn full coverage to me. I literally covered everything and I didn't even do like a full whole pump. Like normally you guys, I know it sounds like a lot, but normally I do a pump per section, like a pump for my forehead and a pump for each cheek because I like really full coverage. And I literally did like maybe, I wouldn't even say half of a pump on my sponge and that was enough. So to me, this is very full coverage, but I have learned um, over doing this that when you're dealing with a very full coverage foundation, you're gonna get some flashback because it's canceling out any undertones that you guys have. So. It's kind of to be expected, so I've learned that along the ways. Um, so the splashback is not like severe, but it's definitely noticeable. But I wouldn't like say that it's too bad. Um, I would like it to be better, of course, but it's a full coverage foundation, so what can you expect? So let me go ahead and lean in closer so that way you guys can see. This is what the foundation looks like up close. And I do want to mention up close, I really like the powder too. So hopefully that powder will help with my wrinkles and set in good throughout the day. So that way you guys can see up close, this is what it looks like. All right, so, um, so far I'm loving it. You guys, I still smell that like rose perfume scent. It's not dying down whatsoever, but whatever. Hopefully it will throughout the day. Um, that's my only negative thing to say about this foundation so far. Obviously I've only had it on for about 15, 20 minutes. So we will see right now. So what I'm gonna do right now is set the rest of my face and do my bronzer and I'm gonna do that on camera so that way you guys can see, but I'll fast forward through it so that way this video doesn't get to be like 25 minutes long like every other damn video that I do. So um, I'll go ahead and do my bronzer and then we'll clock the time and then do my check-ins after that. So I set the rest of my face using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I really love it so far so I hope it holds up good. Then I'm gonna go in with my Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Tan. And as you guys know, I use this one literally every damn video. If you guys want me to use a different bronzer, please let me know because I will. But I just love this one so much. I love the finish that it gives. I will say that I do want one that has a little bit more brown to it, like a tan brown rather than an orangey brown. But um, I do like the finish. So you guys let me know if you guys know of any other ones that you guys want me to try out and I'll definitely do it. All right guys, so I got my bronzer all on right now. So we'll go ahead and clock the time. It is currently 2.34 right now. So, so far my only complaint about this foundation is the smell of it. Other than that, I feel like it is beautiful. I'll go ahead and lean in closer so that way you guys can see up close. I feel like the, the coverage is bomb, the finish is bomb. Everything is really good so far, um, as much as I wanna fucking hate the damn thing. Um, so I forgot to mention I am gonna go out to dinner and I'm gonna do some shopping, so I will be out and about and I'll keep this on for eight hours. And then I'll do my first check-in, which you guys will see right 
right now. It's currently 9.46, if you could see that. There we go, 9.46. Normally, I wouldn't take this long to do a check-in. However, I was watching the Dodger game, and it was so fucking loud where I was at and dark, so I was like, let me not even bother. So I've had this on for, what is that now? Seven hours? Yeah, seven hours. So I probably am gonna keep it on for a few hours more because I do have some more things to do. Um, but so far, so good, like you guys. I really, really like it, and honestly, on the side of my nose, it's a little bit oily, but not like too crazy. So, so far, I really fucking love it. Um, as you guys know, my bitch ass wants to say I don't like it, but I really do like it, and I've been wearing it for seven hours, and it was 93 degrees today, so it was pretty damn hot, and it's holding up really good. So, I'll do my final check-in in about two hours to let you guys know. I think that'll have me wearing it for about nine hours, yeah. So, I'll do my, cu my couple hours. I'll do my last check-in in a couple hours, what I meant to say. So see you in a bit. So I'm back with my final check-in. It is currently 11:18 right now. So I've had this foundation on for almost 10 hours. And let me go ahead and lean in a little bit closer so hopefully you guys can see. Um, honestly, you guys, I love this foundation. <sighs> it's like it sucks because you guys know how I feel about that rose gold palette and you know you guys want me to do these reviews and I'm like I'm totally down to do them for you guys, but at the end of the day, I wanted to kind of like not support her and stuff like that, but I have to give you guys what you want and you guys want to see reviews and I'm just gonna do it, you know what I mean? Um, I'll still state my opinions in the videos, I'll still state what I believe and how I think things should be, of course, but at the end of the day, if the product's good, the product's good and honestly, you guys, I really do like this foundation. I feel like my skin hasn't looked this good in a while. Um, I don't know, I just feel like it's like extremely full coverage, it looks flawless, but it's not heavy, it's not cakey, it's not too thick. And you guys know that I love my MAC Full Coverage Foundation, which I have it right here. Well, this one's almost empty. Hold on, I have another one right here. This one, um, I love this, but this one does tend to crease up a little bit. It's not the best for oily skin. This one, I feel like, is almost like the liquid version of it, the Huda Beauty one. I feel like it's a liquid version of it because it does hold on better. It still gives a lot of coverage and it's absolutely beautiful. I honestly have no complaints um, over it. I would say it took about an hour and a half for the kind of like fragrancy smell to die down. That would be my only complaint. The flashback is kind of bad, but like I said earlier, it does depend on the coverage. And if it's a screen, extreme full coverage foundation, you're gonna get flashback because it's canceling out all your pigmentation underneath. So I don't know, overall I really, like this foundation and I definitely do recommend it. For 40 bucks, I feel like that is actually a decent price considering she's going for more of a high-end um, brand type of, you know, price point. So I feel like that's a pretty decent price. I feel the packaging is nice. It feels good. It feels like, I mean, obviously these people want glass, but whatever. But to me, it feels nice. Um, and I love the actual finish of the product and everything like that. I have no fucking complaints, you guys. Like, literally none at all because that damn oil smell that, like, it smells like a, like a perfume mixed with, like, rose oil, you know what I mean? That's the only problem that I had with it, but it honestly did die down after about an hour or maybe two hours. Um, other than that, I fucking love this foundation. And to be dead honest with you guys, uh, I'm gonna wear it again tomorrow. I, I think at this point right now, this may be my current favorite foundation. Like, I really like this foundation that much, and you guys know I haven't said that in any other video. Uh, the Maybelline Fist Me one, I love that foundation, but I feel like I like this one more because the coverage is way better, and I feel like this helps with my pores too. I feel like this looks good on my creases. It's just bomb. I really fucking love it. So, let me shut the fuck up and stop rambling it. I give this two motherfucking thumbs up. I do recommend it, you guys. I love it. Um, also, stay tuned. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the post notifications because I will be doing, I thought I had it over here, but I don't, um, the uh, Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette Review. I will be doing that soon with my swatches and all that stuff as well. So yeah, with that said, honestly, you guys, I highly recommend this. And if you guys are in the market for a new foundation, go to Sephora, get a sample of it, ask them for a sample, try this shit out. It is really good. If you guys are looking for like a medium coverage foundation, it may take a little work to share this down. Obviously, you guys know I like a full coverage foundation, but if you guys like a full coverage foundation, I highly recommend this. So yeah, anyways, with that, that said, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like this product. If you guys tried it or, or are going to try it, let me know what you guys think. So I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout. But before you guys go, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe, okay? Because I would really appreciate that and turn on your post notifications. Okay, but now for real, peace out, Girl Scout.